I've really never had like a real, real boyfriend before, so this is definitely going to be different. For many years, Jersey Shore viewers have considered Dina and Chris Buckner to be fan favorites, but not everyone is convinced that they're the wholesome, supportive couple that they appear to be. So what exactly are Dina's red flags? The real reasons why some people think she's shadier than she lets on are absolutely crazy. It seems like a lot of Jersey Shore viewers believe that Dina is the least toxic out of all of the cast members, but she might not be quite as harmless as people think. When Dina officially joined the show in 2011, it didn't take long for people to get annoyed by her. It seemed like she was trying way too hard to be exactly like Snooki. How Dina acted whenever she was under the influence was extremely messy. <laughs> She couldn't seem to go out with her shore mates without getting over-the-top intoxicated. At first, some viewers tried to give her the benefit of the doubt since she was so nervous about joining the cast, but what happened the following year was seriously ridiculous. Almost immediately after Dina claimed that she wanted to basically start fresh, she fell right back into her old ways. Once again, she had consumed so many adult beverages that she couldn't take care of herself. But when she started running into the street and slapping cars, she really endangered her own life and the lives of everyone on the road. Oh, I'm in trouble! Uh, because yeah, you're dancing okay. in the streets, okay? Fine. You can't block traffic like that. After Dina was arrested for disorderly conduct, many people were hoping that it would be a wake-up call for her. Even her mom hoped that being in jail would finally teach her a lesson. But even after being banned from one of the seaside restaurants for two years, Dina was still drinking adult beverages all the time. She would either repeatedly fall or get super emotional, and one or more of her castmates would end up having to babysit her. Now, Dina isn't quite as out of control as she used to be when she's under the influence, but on Jersey Shore Family Vacation, viewers have been noticing that she's back to getting way too sloppy whenever she goes out lately. This is what I was planning the entire time. But Dina's bad behavior while she's under the influence isn't the only reason why some people think she's problematic. She's also starting to get labeled as a mean girl. What she admitted during a somewhat recent episode was insanely hypocritical. Dina surprisingly revealed that she would physically fight Angelina if she ever dated Chris's brother. Obviously, that's not exactly a healthy statement for an adult to make in the first place. But what she said not long after that was truly bizarre. For some reason, Dina suddenly had an unexpected change of heart. She didn't act very tough after saying that she would fight her shore mate. In fact, she completely turned the threat around. Dina claimed that she was terrified that Angelina was going to hit her. She was supposedly so scared that she'd get physically attacked. Not only was she not in any real danger, but why was it okay for her to announce that she would fight Angelina? A lot of people are also frustrated with how judgmental and whiny Dina has been on family vacation. They think that when she isn't busy drinking way too many adult beverages, she's taking herself way too seriously and being extra about basically everything. During a recent episode, Dina said that she wouldn't be able to attend one of Lauren's events for a crazy reason. Apparently, her son had a dentist appointment that day, and she claimed she wouldn't be able to reschedule it for any time in the foreseeable future. But it's not like Dina isn't a literal celebrity millionaire. She definitely has the time, money, and resources to get her son to the dentist within the next 12 months. But that's not the only startling comment she's made about how difficult her life is as a mom. Dina also said that she doesn't really ever have the time to get her nails done, which seems like a total lie. If she was busy filming the show, she could probably go get her nails done with the other women on camera. And if she was at home, her mother or mother-in-law could most likely babysit the boys like they seemingly do pretty regularly. There's an unbelievable amount of viewers who are so over Dina's annoying attitude. Some of them even wish she would take a break from the show or leave it altogether. And of course, there are also people who wouldn't mind if her husband took over for her permanently on Jersey Shore. A lot of viewers love whenever Chris makes an appearance on the show. Most people think he usually lightens the mood a little bit and provides a much needed break from the constant drama. But other people believe that Chris has actually had shady intentions with both Dina and the show from the very beginning. After all, he had clearly watched Jersey Shore before he and Dina even knew each other. What happened after they first met was a little bit suspicious. It turns out that after Chris met Dina for the first time, he told his entire family that he had just met Dina from Jersey Shore. He even showed them the friend request she had sent to him on Facebook so that they would believe him. So obviously, he already knew that being with her could seriously benefit him. Some people believe that Chris might have mainly been interested in the fame and money that he could potentially get by dating Dina. When you look back, his life has changed a remarkable amount over the years. Chris revealed during an episode of Family Vacation that he used to cut hair in college just to make enough money to pay for adult beverages. He might not have been completely broke, but he was definitely never rich. That is, until he married Dina. Now Chris, Dina, and their two sons live in an enormous mansion that they just bought last year for $1.4 million. He works as an electrician, so he makes a decent amount of money. But Dina's role on reality TV, along with her business, obviously make up the majority of the family's earnings. If Chris truly is with Dina for the wrong reasons, he has an incredibly easy act to keep up. Most viewers already love him. All Chris has to do is stay away from talking about super scandalous 
topics while filming, and he's pretty much in the clear. He will probably always appear to be one of the most uncontroversial people on the show, but let's be real. The bar wasn't exactly set too high in the first place. Chris didn't join the show with a crazy criminal background or a history of harmful behavior. He usually keeps things lighthearted and steers clear of the drama for the most part. Just by doing that, he's already miles ahead of more than half the cast members. Chris did have a major slip up in an episode earlier this year though, and it landed him in hot water. After Dina told everyone about how she liked to blast a certain song while she ran errands during the day, he made a really shocking remark. Without missing a beat, Chris made a very sarcastic comment about how challenging it must be to be a stay-at-home mom. Not surprisingly, Dina and all of her shore mates were visibly stunned. Chris quickly tried to play it off as a joke, but with how fast he said it and how nervous he looked around the cameras immediately afterward, I'm not so sure he was joking. And if he was, nobody was laughing. Despite how positive most of the feedback usually is that Dina and Chris got from viewers, there are clearly people who are not their fans. Between Dina's emotional, dangerous behavior while she's under the influence and Chris's potentially money-hungry motives, there are obviously quite a few reasons why some viewers can't stand the couple. But now that we've talked about Dina's ridiculous actions and Chris's questionable motives, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think they're actually as healthy and wholesome as they want people to believe? Do you like seeing Dina on Jersey Shore? Or would you rather her not be on the show anymore? What about Chris? Let me know in the comments below.